Hey gang, Kevin G here and I've got a special treat for you today. I've gotten access to the Fluidity code base and we're going to test it out today, here, right now. Roll the intro. So what exactly is Fluidity? Fluidity is an API interface that takes a boring old database table and adds CRUD operations very similar to UI-O-Matic. It'll make a lot more sense when we see it in action. Okay, our journey with learning what Fluidity is begins with a boring old database. And this particular table here is called Contact Form Submissions. It just remembers silly stuff such as an ID, a name, uh, an email, a message, and when it was submitted. And uh, normally you'd have to write your own CRUD operations to uh, kind of read from this table and do something with it. A few years back, was uh, Tim Geisens created a project called UI-O-Matic, and essentially what it does is it takes a table uh, that's in your database, and then if we decorate it with different attributes here, we can actually get an auto-magic um, back office CRUD operation. So as you can see here from this image, I've actually gone ahead and installed UI Omatic to uh, this version of Umbraco. And here it is where you can create, save, and do uh, a few things here with um, UI Omatic. In fact, you can even have a list view here. You can do some bulk operations, etc. So fast forward to the present time here. Um, and there is a project by Matt Brailsford called Fluidity. Fluidity here is basically the updated version of UIOMatic. So Matt was a contributor on UIOMatic. That was Tim Geisen's original project, and Matt kind of went out on his own here and, and uh, created Fluidity. And if we look at Fluidity here, it looks very, very similar to what UIOMatic provides here. And if I kind of go back and forth between these two here, you'll see that it's basically CRUD operations for each one of those. I won't uh, bore you with uh, hitting save and whatnot, but you can uh, do different things like create um, an entity and whatnot. So let's look at a code level here on what's the difference between these as well. Actually, we're going to start here. This is UI-O-Matic. So out of the box to get UI-O-Matic to work besides installing it, you'll have to decorate your POCO um, with a bunch of things here. And as you can see here, it gets a little messy over time, and you, but it's really cool because you can basically declaratively say, hey, there's some meta information about this field, and let's generate a uh, UI to go with it. If we were to look at the Fluidity version of this, it's basically just a clean POCO. However, Matt has separated out the Fluidity config over here. So if we look here, um, this feels very much like a, uh, uh, if you've used uh, Swagger or anything like that, it's very declarative here. Uh, so you're given a config, and there's very uh, heavy use of the lambdas, which is great. I like lambdas. So if we kind of walk through each one of these here, I uh, was going to live code this for you, but it's a lot going on here. So let's just talk through it here. So um, right here is a config add section. So a section on Umbraco, again, is this over here. So to add this section called My Fluidity, we're doing the uh, My Fluidity. So within that section, um, let's configure the tree. And the tree is going to be a contact submission form. You've got the singular, the plural, uh, set up some icons, things like that. And just to flip back here, we're setting up this tree item right here. And if we continue on here, um, we can set different property names here. And uh, uh, this right here is the most important thing, which is the list view. So you don't have to use a list view, but I almost think that you almost will never not use a list view. Um, and then uh, as we kind of go through here, the list view, we're going to say, hey, show the name and the email when we're doing a list view. So if we were to click here, and you can see we got the, the name here and the email over there. And when we get to the editors here, uh, basically we can have a tab, we can have multiple tabs, we can make things required, we can add validation, we can um, define an editor. So I think by default it, it either knows based on the data type or it needs a hint. So for instance, message right here, uh, I pass in minus eight nine, which is the uh, the ID for text area. So here you have a text string, text string. Uh, 
this is a text area. If I didn't put that minus 89 there, you would have a text string there too. And then the date looks like it was figured out on its own because obviously I didn't do anything with that. So from a code level, that's uh, what Fluidity does for you um, differently than UIOmatic. If we flip over here to the documentation, there's a ton of documentation here. Um, there's a bunch of different concepts here. The idea here is you're, you have a fluid interface from a developer perspective to be able to just declaratively um, do these things and uh, get your section tree and uh, whatnot. Um, lots of stuff here. Uh, something you might want to uh, check out is the bulk actions, which, um, you know, let's say you want to download uh, some things. Um, <clears throat> One very interesting thing here is this entity picker. So long story short, um, you can pick something from your database once you uh, have data in there. So it's easier to see it. So if we go to our content over here, we go to a page that has uh, a fluidity picker on it. And right here it's called the message pickerator. Um, and I can pick um, my submission that I have in fluidity. If we were to look over here in the developer section, and scroll down here to, uh, it's right here, called it Pick a Message. Uh, you select the, um, the Fluidity Entity Picker. Uh, here's where you pick your section. Here's where you pick your uh, collection. You can have the minimum and the max. You save that, add it to a doc type, and that's how you get uh, the picker over there. So Fluidity, in a nutshell, um, is basically a newer version of UIOmatic. What major difference between Fluidity and UIOmatic? With Fluidity, you can pretty much use any built in property editor. However, with UIOmatic, you must use the ones that ship with UIOmatic. This project is currently under development by Matt Brailsford and is currently not released. The license for this project is Apache 2.0, and it's not clear whether or not this will be a free package or a paid package. I found UIOmatic and Fluidity both pretty darn useful. However, it seems that Fluidity is the next evolution in CRUD packages. If you want to know more about Fluidity, gain access to the source, or simply harass Matt, go ahead and find him on Twitter. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe. Bye.